Hello guys, let's write a Java program to find whether an input number is a prime number or not. So let's discuss about the prime number first, then we'll be writing a logic for prime number. So a prime number is a positive integer that has exactly two positive divisor. So uh, let's understand this definition uh, with the example. So let's use one input number as five. So we have two divisors, two positive divisor of uh, five. That is one and the five itself. So if we have any any number is divisible by uh, one and the number itself, or we have two factors of any number, we can say that that number is a prime number. So let's use one another example and the input number is six. So we have a factor of six is one, two, three, and six. So we have four factor of number six, which is dividing six completely. Uh, as we, uh, we were expecting, we need only two factor. That is one and the number itself. But we have two another factor that is two and three. So uh, as we have uh, discussed in the definition of prime number that the number is completely divisible by uh, a positive um, number and we will be having two divisor only. So here we have four divisor. So in that case, we can say that, that input number six is not a prime number. So let's discuss one another example uh, with the number one. So number one, we have only uh, one divisor means one only one factor. So in this case, one is not all, uh, one is not a prime number because we were as per the definition of prime number, we should have two divisor of any of the number. So this number has only one divisor. So uh, we can say that number is not a prime number. Now we are aware of what is prime number. What is the basic requirement of prime number? So we can start with the prime number logic now. So let's get started. Private static and uh, we'll be using here Boolean class because we need to return true or false whether that number is a prime or not. So based on that input, we'll be returning a flag true or false. So our method name will be is prime and it will be expecting one integer type of input which we need to check whether that input is prime or not. And it will be num. So initially what we were checking here is as we know number zero and the negative number and uh, the positive one is not a prime number. So in that case, we just use one uh, condition here and we'll be comparing whether, whether an input number if, if it is less than one or equal to one so uh, we'll be returning u-r-e-t-u-r-n return false boolean dot false and now th this one is the first use case now the another use case is uh, we need to check whether uh, this number has any uh, another factor or not so let's go to the else block now we can check that using for loop. So let's say if, if our number input number is six, so we have checked that uh, any of the number is divisible by one, that is for sure, and the number itself. But we need to check whether in between of the number itself and the uh, first and the number itself, there have any number which is uh, dividing the input number completely or not. So we need to find the factor of uh, the number complete factor so uh, that's why I'm I start iterating uh, number from value to index 2 to the half of the number because half of the number I mean more than half of a number is not uh, there is no any possibilities to divide that number uh, completely only the number itself so let's say the input number is 6 and we only uh, iterate it to the half of six that is three so if we 
uh, iterate 4 and 5 also the, there is no any possibilities uh, that 4 and 5 will divide 6 number completely but 6 can divide completely it itself so let's use here one index and we'll start from 2 so we'll be comparing whether index if it is not equal to less than or equal to half of the number input number then on each iteration we'll be increasing uh, index value by 1 now here we need to check the condition whether uh, this en enter number is a module of uh, index whether that number is divisible completely divisible by index or not so this number we are checking whether it, uh, we are divi uh, dividing that number with the index and we are checking whether that number is completely divisible or not if it is completely divisible it will return 0 and uh, we we can say that we have uh, the factor of input number instead of 1 and 6 we have another factor and that factor uh, will tell us that number is not a prime number so we'll be returning uh, false here boolean dot false okay and now third use case is we just if it is not divisible with any of the number only if that number has only two factors uh, one and the number itself then that case we will be returning return boolean dot true so let's have a look into this code first whether we are missing something or not so uh, we are we are having this method is prime and we are uh, passing one num of integer type input and if it is less than one we are returning false and if it is not if the number is greater than one so we'll be iterating we'll be uh, dividing that number by um, entered number by indexes i mean the number from two to half of the number and we if we found any of the number any of the um, number from two to half of the number that is dividing input num completely so we'll be returning false there else we'll be returning true here so uh, let's refactor our code little more instead of keeping this return statement three time let's use it's this one time only so boolean will be taking uh, taking care of uh, code as well it should not be a, a complex so you can see here we have multiple return statements it is not making any sense we should in in each method we should have only one return type sorry only return value so boolean and the flag will be is prime and so let's pass initial value as true we are expecting that whatever value we are passing that is a prime number but uh, to make sure we need to validate that prime number uh, logic using prime uh, number logic so we are doing that now we have one another variable that is uh, sorry uh, we have this new variable that is prime so instead of returning value here i'm just keeping this i'm just updating this is prime uh, uh, variable it's a boolean flag and also i'm doing the same here if this condition will be false it will come here and will compare this condition if it is also false so whatever we value we will be having it either uh, is prime flag initialize here or here so that value will be returning the last of the uh, logic method but if this condition is not executed at all let me pass it this subscript 
okay if uh, this condition is not executed and this is also not executed so is prime uh, flag will remain true so that true value will be returning to the caller method but if any of the condition either this or that will be true so that flag will be updated with the false value and the is prime value will be initialized with the new uh, value that is false and will be returning that to the caller method but i forgot to pass one uh, value here that is break because if our state if, if we found any uh, factor third factor of that number so we are initializing that uh, is prime uh, we are initializing is prime uh, flag with a false but we need to break that loop because we found that a number is not entered number is not a prime number now it will be not a relevant if we uh, i mean after finding that number is not a prime and we are uh, we are keep iterating this for loop so that that is not a good if we know that number is not a prime so you can break that loop there itself and updated value will be returned to the caller method so let's uh, write main method so okay let's pass one number here initially we'll be passing five let's call uh, prime number dot is prime method let's pass num here so this is prime method will return as a uh, boolean flag it can be true or false so instead of keeping that returned value in another extra variable i'm just uh, doing method call in if block itself so it will return true or false if it will be true so this if uh, block will be executed and uh, will be printing value as entered number is prime number but if it is false we'll say enter number is not prime number so this is done i'm just refactoring my code let's run this code and verify whether uh, our logic is working fine or not so 5 is a prime number we should get enter number is uh, prime number let's pass one another number that is 6 as we discussed that 6 is not a prime number so we should be getting here enter number is not a prime number okay let's pass one other another uh, value that is 19 19 is not uh, it is a prime number actually so enter number is a prime number and let's do for one one is not a prime number because one is having only one factor that is one so it will not be a prime number right enter number is not a prime number let's pass one another value this is the last value that is 51 so 51 is not a prime number because it has more than two uh, factors so you can see uh, enter number is not a prime number so our logic is working fine and uh, we have done with this video guys thank you so much for watching this vi videos and uh, stay tuned for another video thank you